Hey, what's up, guys? This is Steve. Hope you guys will enjoy this one like you enjoy all my uploads. So, here we go with that expectation and with all of your love and blessing. Here we go with this review extinction agenda issue number one. This is a Sacred Wars tie in. So, this review is from Alchemy.com. This is by Jeremy Macho. So, by Mark Gagenheim. Carmine D. G. and Domenico and Nolan Woodward. One of the great things about this Secret War Battle Worlds is the ability to transport it back in time. So, for the characterization, has been great in all these times. And this week, we are treated to Extinction Agenda. Mark Gagenheim has a pretty solid body of work in television and comics so we get to see him flex his muscles with a classic x-men storyline this issue starts off with a nice flashback scene where the summers brothers take out cameron hodge this was a nice scene that sets up why genosha is in its current state it's a place that has a mutant killing virus going around and it also has a shortage of supplies most notably Food Havoc is in charge on the island, but Rachel Gray is the Baroness of the world. Mark Gagenham excels at writing many of these characters. Havoc is the obvious standout because it's his book, but Rachel is characterized well here too. Gagenham wrote a, writes her as a Baroness that does care about her people, but she is all for the greater good. It's also cool that Trig, a character just recently invented by Brian Ma Michael Bendis, has the ability to play a crucial part in the story. That's where the beauty of this times. We can have older stories updated and have newer characters used. Kagenham wrote a good issue that should pique some interest as to where it will lead. So that's why it's becoming interesting. So the pencils in this issue are handled by Carmine D. G. and Domenico with colors by Nolan Woodward. The art has a retro feel to it. It seems like it could have been used when the original crossover came out. Having said that, there are definitely some panels where characters' faces are distorted. Carmine does a nice job of drawing his battle scenes and characters look rock solid, rock slide. So, and have a look good in action. The colors by Nolan Wood are very complimentary to the style that D. G. and Domenico lays down. The art in this book is well done, but it won't be whoa you in any way. So. Extinction in the issue number one was a pretty good read that feels like continuation of the original crossover. Mark Gaganam set up a cool introductory issue that has the potential to be very thrilling. The pencils could use a bit of work, but they shouldn't take you out of the book. Overall, this was another great tie-in in Secret Wars. That's why a lot of people maybe enjoyed and a lot of people have like its... Uh, it's a good thing. So, anyway, comic book resources have some good work also for this one. That is, Gagana had some of the nice touches, such as a comic nod to the X Men playing yet another game uh, of pick up baseball that is really challenging. And Wolverine is true feelings about it. Also, some unobtrusive labels for the main main characters and their powers is a welcome addition for those who might not recall or ever read the original extinction agenda story as lettered and placed by Corey Pitted. So that's the difference in a movie and a comic. So because I've liked it anyway enjoy it with your friends and enjoy the hard copy anywhere any else. So I'll be Glad to take that from you. So have a great day guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more amazing shows.